Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're going to start off with bare skin, a fresh face to start this makeup tutorial. And I'm going to be using my Eucerin Replenishing Face Cream. I do have quite tight dry skin. It's not flaky but it's tight so this is just going to help hydrate it. And then for further hydration I'm going to be using my Olay Hydration and Flawless Blur Primer. And this is just going to smooth out any of the pores and any of the lines that I do have. I'm also going to go in with my gro my gosh um, eye primer. This is a roll on eye primer. I really like it. And I pop this underneath my eyes and massage it. Give myself a little eye massage. Then I'm going to start the makeup. So I'm going to start correcting firstly. Using my 224 brush or any fluffy brush that you do have. I'm going into Max Peach Luster Corrector or Highlighter Pen. And I'm just going to go around all of the darker areas that I do have pigmentation around my mouth and underneath my eyes then I go straight in with my Maybelline dream flawless nude foundation I really like this foundation it is a little bit light for me just a little bit around my pigmented areas but I really like it it's kind of like face and body which is why I really like it then I'm gonna go in with my concealer so I mix an NC 45 and NC 42 in my pro long wear concealer love the cover of this concealer absolutely amazing but it can be a little bit dry in so just be aware of that so I'm just gonna go in the normal areas that I would conceal then we're gonna go ahead and just buff this all into the skin just keep buffing it and I like to really get it in I kind of want it kind of airbrush so you can use a brush but I find the beauty blender works better for me then I'm gonna be using this age rewind anti-age rewind eraser and I'm popping this in the high points of my face, so like the bridge of my bone, bridge of my bone, the bridge of my nose, um, underneath my eyes, my forehead, my cupid's bow, my chin, that sort of jazz. And then we're just gonna bake this. So I'm gonna be using the Mac Mineralized Powder, the loose powder in medium, so it is lighter for me. And I'm gonna pop this underneath my eyes. Then I just brush it away. I don't leave it sitting there for that long. I kind of don't like that. I don't like that look within the makeup tutorials either. I've got this new trick where I spray my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray onto my Beauty Blender and then I pat this in. I feel like it just keeps the longevity of the makeup. And this is the skin done. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm going to go in with my Colour 24 Hour Tattoo in this sort of dupe of soft ochre that MAC do in like a paint pot. I think it's a cream eyeshadow though. And I'm going to pop this all over, just buffing it out. I am aware that it's light for me, but we want the colours to pop, so this is what I do. Then all I'm going to do is just take my beauty blender and blend it into my skin so it looks a little bit more natural. Taking a dip down, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Now this is a gel liner, so what I do is I just take the excess off the back of my hand because I don't want it too, too harsh. I do the bottom line, I do the top line, I fill in the middle, I kind of elongate the edges, I kind of like to feather it, I don't want it to look too, too blocky. And then I go in with my NC Forta Studio Fix Powder and I will kind of highlight with this underneath on my brow bone and I decided to put it into my transition kind of shade just to help me blend. Now going in with my Revolution Matte Palette, I'm using this pink colour and the orangey colour, I'm popping this in to my crease really really softly with a 224 brush. I further deepen the colours with a 217, now I can't even stress to you how good these eyeshadows are and the palettes are £8 for I think 30 eyeshadows. I also got this palette which is the shimmery one which is a flawless palette as well and I'm using this sort of shimmery highlight colour just to put into my inner tear duct area, they're so pigmented and they're so worth the money, I love them. Also from Revolution, I got this contour palette and I'm going to be using that highlight shade, the white and gold one, mixing them together and I'm popping that underneath the brow bone. I love this highlight, like I love it. So you just want to buff this out, then going in with the same highlight colour but not a lot of it, just like the excess on my brush, I'm popping this on to my lid. Going in with the same matte colour that I used in my crease, I'm just going to pop this and smoke it out on my lower lash line. Then going in with Urban um, Decay's Distortion, I love, 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 love this product. Like I can't even stress to you how amazing it is and it makes me feel like a mermaid. I feel like I'm a unicorn for some reason at this point in my life. Just popping that onto my lid. I'm then going to go and put on my Demi Lashes which are really, really natural. Really like them. They are just sort of that soft, glam, natural eye. Then hiding the band because I'm not so good at putting fake eyelashes on. With my NYC liquid liner, just hide that band and then pop on a little bit of mascara. I'm using the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara, perfect for your bottom. And then I just pop a little bit on my top just to blend my lashes. And I'm going to go in with a nude eyeliner just to brighten and lift my eyes. And there are your eyes done. 
So this is like the perfect sort of soft glam Valentine's Day tutorial. Then going back into my Revolution contour palette, I'm actually going to use the contour shades. I kind of just mix them all up because I don't really know which one I am, so I kind of mix them up. There are no rules and regulations, so are there. So I'm going to contour my temples, my forehead, I'm going to chisel my cheekbones because I want some high cheekbones. I'm also going to get rid of that double chin. Then using this sleek bronzing palette which I absolutely adore, it's also got a contour shade in there. I'm going to bronze up my skin so I bronze up my temples a little bit and my cheeks and I love the gold in this on my skin tone. It's really really nice. And then using a mineralized blush in Warm Soul. I'm going to pop this on the apples of my cheeks. This color comes up a little bit more pink on me than it does normal people. But I really like that. It kind of ties in all the pink colors that I'm using. And then we're going to go back into that Revolution contour palette. So you know it's going to be worth your money. I'm going to highlight. So I'm using the goldy color first. And I was like, mm, I like it. But it's sort of natural. And I kind of want a bit more. So I was highlighting all the normal points of my face. And I like to do the ball of my nose especially and my cupid's bow and I've started to do it on my forehead as well just to make my skin look a little bit more glowy because this hasn't got glitter in but then I went in full force with the white and gold one with the glitter and I popped that onto my cheekbones and I was like yes glitter so we're gonna go in with sore lip liner I'm gonna line my lips with this and then I'm gonna fill them fully in then I'll be using a sleek matte me in birthday suit like this is the perfect sort of blush pink nude color if that's what you're looking for and it will dry matte I then go in back in with saw and I'm gonna define my lips just to give them that extra sharpness I'm gonna go in with my dazzle lip gloss like where has dazzle gloss been all my life it's just called dazzle gloss I don't know why I call it lip gloss but this has got pink reflex and it's absolutely amazing it makes your lips look bigger and plump and then once I've done that, I'm just going to set my makeup with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And that is it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure that you subscribe.